This is the Whistler Sliding Center, AKA the fastest sliding track in the world. By far, yes, it's true. So how fast do people go down the track? Uh, from the top, we average 150, 153. Top speed was 153 kilometers per hour. <sighs> mm -hmm. How long is the track? 1.4K, so almost a mile. Of course, when you're not a professional bobsledder, they don't send you down the whole track. They start you from a lower point, so you don't get too much speed. So they start from corner seven because it's safer, it's a bit slower, so you still go 125 to 130, but it's 900 meters, done in 42 seconds. 42 seconds of pure adrenaline. This is very unique, there's nothing to describe it, it's not scary, it's just very pure speed and you take a ride on the fastest track in the world in a real sled. Yep, you're in a real bobsled with just a few changes for safety reasons. Yeah, a few modifications to make it safer, but it's pretty much like a normal sled. When the real athletes go down the track, it's a little riskier. The athletes, yeah, we have crushes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But not the public. That's no, nice they're probably, we're, we're safe, <laughs> we're safe. Of course, step one is to sign your life away on this piece of paper. And then, although the pro athletes train for years to do this, us amateurs just sit down and watch a PowerPoint presentation for a few minutes to figure out what to do. Oh, they told us all these different scenarios, like you could crash, hopefully you don't. If you do, you duck down and make yourself as small as possible. Now we're getting to the shuttle to go to the start line. Oh my gosh. Cassie, you here? Yes. Okay. Hi. Awesome. And now we head up the track. Okay, now we got to get to the official pop sun helmet sign. Oh yeah, now I'm safe. And this is where the nerves set in. Oh my gosh. We're actually at the start line. So, the first group of victims are already Stephen and Cassidy. Come say hello, you are going to go bump in. I've got a lot of enthusiasm. Apparently I'm in the front like a surprise on the shortest one. Sarah and Stephen, right? You guys look like a bob squad minus the spandex. Like a team name or something. USA one. And also, do you see that terrified look on my face? If you listen closely, you can hear me question what we are even doing here. So we're off. Oh, but yes, in front of me, there is a professional, our pilot, Damian Boyle. For the first few turns, it was pretty relaxing. They told me my seat right behind the pilot is called the champagne seat because you're just along for the smooth ride. But a few turns in, I really started to feel the G-forces pressing against my back and my head. I just sat there and tried to sit up straight and not knock heads with my teammates. I don't think I hit anyone, except my head did bob against the sides of the sled a few times. I guess that's where some pro training would come in handy. Our average speed was 125.9 kilometers per hour, or 78.2 miles per hour. And there's the finish line. After that, the track goes uphill to slow down the sled. Oh my gosh, we did it! We made it! Okay, Sarah and Steven, what'd you think? That was amazing! Were you scared? Only at like turn, I think, 13. I was trying to count, but it didn't work. You couldn't like totally see what was going on in front, but at the same time, you're like, oh, we're going sideways now. Yeah. And for the first view, we were all like screaming, and then I noticed we all just yeah, got, got silent because really we're like quiet. trying to stay That's still, I keep it to hold my breath for 40 <laughs> seconds. Oh, that was so fun! You made it! High five, everybody! Yeah, high five! Oh, uh, Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, and remember that 42 seconds he mentioned earlier? We did it in 40.78. But who's counting? Oh, we made it! Yes, I survived! Lived to tell the story back here in Portland. That was so much fun. I would totally do it again like a million times. However, I do have a great job here, so I won't switch careers to be an athlete. But if you want to go try it yourself, they also let you do skeleton. You can go check out the Whistler Sliding Center. And of course, ladies, if you want to watch the pros do it all, starting here, February 8th, the Olympics on KGW. Back to you.